H2K Emphasis provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Emphasis – How we are different from our competitors. 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Emphasis has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kemphasis.com. Okay, so now HTML, as you already know, HTML is the hypertext markup language, which is like uh, which is used to display some content in the browser. And we have different types of browsers. We have like uh, Google Chrome, we have IE, and we have uh, Mozilla Firefox, we have Opera, like that. We have different browsers. So basically, the goal for the browser is to 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 understand the HTML and to display the content accordingly. Say for example. Uh, let's go here. Let's let me create a new. Let me go to my D drive, and and then let me create a new folder, new folder called HTML Learn. I'm going to create a folder called HTML Learn, and then inside this, I'm going to type new text document, and I'm going to give this name as one dot HTML. We already discussed HTML. I'm just giving some head, some highlights on that. So, if I open with Notepad, if I open with Notepad, and if I add like this, say for example, H1 and uh, ASP.NET First Class, and we have something called H1. H1 is for header. You already know this, and BR, and we are going to learn differences between. I'm going to put B tag for bold and closing this B tag. HTML is not case sensitive, so it doesn't. So, and we're going to learn again B tag ASP.NET. So, now let me close the B tag. So, now let me save it. And then, and then what when you when I save it, and then when I open this with the browser, so my default browser I have set to Google Chrome. That's the reason why the icon has been when I changed it to HTML. The icon has been changed to Google Chrome icon. But for you, if you have Google uh, IE as a default browser, when you rename it to HTML, uh, the icon will be changed to IE Internet Explorer browser, Internet Explorer, uh, whatever it is, logo or whatever. So let me open this. Double click on this to open in Chrome, and you can see here that I am displaying whatever I have typed in the Notepad. Whatever I have typed in the Notepad is getting displayed as. Let me just a second. So this one is getting displayed as ASP.NET first file and where is this one? Okay. Okay, so now let me close the other tabs. Just a second. No problem. Yeah. Okay. So now um, this one ASP.NET first class is is a header, so H1, and BR is for the new line break tab break line or new line. Go to next line. So that's why we one line gap is here, and we are going to learn um, differences between HTML you can see in bold color and ASP.NET you can see in bold bold font. So that so. Whenever you type some HTML code, your browser will convert. Uh, your browser will know this HTML tags and display the text accordingly. Okay, so now we will see how .NET ASP.NET controls are different from HTML controls. Okay, so now let me create. Uh, and all of you know for uh, the controls for the text box and the drop-down list. Everyone know the code. Can any? Can everyone ping me the code for a text box? How to add a text box? Can everyone ping me the code? I will tell the differences now for ASP.NET and HTML. So everyone, please ping me the HTML code for a text box. 
so this is the code for a text box input type equal to text ID equal to some ID we gave and we close the input tag so this is a text box and similarly we have learned for drop down list so everyone please go through the video of uh, when we discussed uh, that is already uploaded in the uh, list of uh, recordings please go through them and uh, before next class try to understand the HTML tags for all the for all the controls okay now now let's uh, let me go to let me create uh, let me open Visual Studio okay so today's assignment uh, also you have to practice so I'm going to create a new website and you have to work on this okay so now file remember what I'm doing now I'm going to I'm not going to create a console application from now on I'm going to create a website okay so file new project I'm going to select file new project so please note here file new project and then I'm going to select ASP.NET empty website so I'm selecting web and expanding this Visual Studio 2012 and I'm going to select ASP.NET empty web application so from now on if you uh, for practicing ASP.NET we are going to use this ASP.NET empty web application template which is which comes with uh, which comes with Visual Studio 2013 so I'm going to click on this ASP.NET empty web application and click on OK so it's creating a project for me same like how it creates a console application okay so the project has been created so once the project is created you can see that in solution explorer uh, when you expand the solution explorer you can see here uh, we have web application 63 and uh, and we have a web.config file so we'll see that later for now what you should know is you should know how to see solution explorer so so you need to click on view and you need to click on the solution explorer to see this solution explorer can everyone create this now i'll wait for a couple i'll wait for a couple of minutes i resume the recording yeah thanks for reminding Srikanth. yeah so now when you when you see here in the solution explorer you are seeing one thing solution and you will see something called web application 63 now yeah it's recording now so web application uh, for you it will be web application 1 for those who created for the first time or you can give any other name whatever your your choice so you can give the name of your choice for example let me close this I'll do it again and let me give some other name so I'm going to create Visual Studio 2013 and now I'm going to create file file new project and I'm going to select here so when you select Visual C Sharp you will see those uh, like uh, console application or class library which we already did it when you select web application so inside this web application if you select 2012 for those who are already having 2012 you need not go through 2012 again but uh, for those who are having 2010 2008 directly you can see ASP.NET empty web application so I'm going to select ASP.NET empty web application and click on OK basically we select this when you want to start the project from the scratch from nowhere if you want to start the website you you want to design your own website uh, completely then we select empty web application okay so now right click on this and then right click on web application project and then add new item so there is a tab called add new item add new item and then I'm going to select I'm going to select web form and I'm going to select web form and I'm going to give the name as so I thought of changing the name right I didn't change again it came web application 64 so web form and I'm going to give the name as home.aspx okay so I repeat again I repeat again right click on this web application and add new item select add and then select new item and in the new item select ASP dot I mean web form so visual C sharp one more important point is you have to select visual C sharp by default sometimes it would have been selected uh, VB 
so you should be careful when you are creating a project you should select visual c sharp web form and then click on click on add so now you can see here that one web form will be added so it's getting added now it's taking time so it is it got added web form so now let me expand this here for adding a text box so if you want to add a text box you can even simply do uh, so HTML text box so you already know this AS uh, input type input type equal to text and then you can give here ID ID equal to uh, ID equal to text box one okay so this is your HTML text box which is input type equal to text this is the code for a HTML text box now if you want to give a dot net way of giving text box so you have to give like this so even HTML will work but I'll tell you ASP dot net text box now you have to give like this ASP colon ASP colon text box ID is equal to txt txt uh, let me give here txt box uh, text box 2 and then I need to give one more parameter which is very important which is called run uh, run at server okay so I got a question you created home.aspx yeah I was about to create home.aspx but I changed it to I mean when I created again I forgot to change it from home.web.webform1 to home.aspx so you guys when you are creating you can create using uh, using home.aspx you can rename this to home.aspx now I created one HTML text box I gave it the name as input type equal to text and this you already know this you already know how to give HTML text box now ASP.NET text box we create like this ASP colon text box ID is equal to txt text box 1 and run at server and I'll tell what is run at server now when I run this project so I have to execute like this I have to click on this and run the project so let me run this this class will be more of discussion so you should be clear with what is the difference between HTML and .NET code now it is taking bit more time so I'm seeing two text boxes one is HTML text box one is ASP.NET text box so now anyone wants to try this now other than Vijaya so I'll make you as presenter so you have to try in your you have to add a web form and you have to add one HTML text box and ASP.NET text box. Who wants to share the screen? Anyone wants to share the screen and just show for others? Okay. So if no one is interested, maybe you can try it and uh, and tell me when you are done. Everyone, please ping me when you are done or when you face any issues you have to run the code and see that two text boxes are there please do it right away and ping me when you are done let me see who will complete first happens here is see for see I have one HTML text box here and for HTML code you already know input type equal to text and ID equal to this for dot net text box we gave here ASP colon text box ID equal to this and all now when I run the project see to run the project this is the one uh, you have to click and to stop running the project you have to click on this there is something called stop debugging so let me stop this now it got stopped running now let me run the code again you can select the browser also say for example um, say for example you have IE browser so what you can do is inside see I don't like uh, say for example I don't like IE I want to run the project in Google Chrome you can select from the drop-down list see now it got hanged sometimes Visual Studio especially when you are when you want to work with Visual Studio close all other tabs because Visual Studio takes a lot of memory so you have to close all the tabs 